summer silly will. For cotton clothing and ate his fill. Peas and beans and green cucumber grew in his garden without number until the autumn came around. And the garden withered on the ground. His meal grew scanty and will grew thinner until one night he had nothing for dinner. Well, then, I'll go out and borrow something to eat, said Silly Will. And he went down the road until he came again to the old lady's house and knocked at the door. Come in, Silly Will. Will you let me have something to cook for my dinner? You see, there's nothing left in my garden. Yes, food's hard to keep over the winter, but I have a few dried peas here and some dried apples. Peas and apples indeed. No fancy. I can get along perfectly well without them. Well, if that's how you feel about it. That's what the old lady began to say, but an old dried apple voice answered for her. No vegetable dinner, no apple or duff. Well, silly Will, that's easy enough. And then he came to the old man's house, and his woods were all burned down. Come in, silly Will. I'm sorry to see your woods burned down. Yes, I depended on that firewood to keep me warm. Dependent? You people always depend on things. On vegetables. On wood. I can get along perfectly well without them. Well, silly Will, if that's what you want. That's what the old man began to say, but an angry voice answered for him. If that's what you want, then perhaps it won't grieve you if all the vegetables suddenly leave you. And the old man had something to add to that, too. Yes, I hope your silly wish comes true. I hope all the vegetable kingdom leaves you, too, and then perhaps you'll understand a little. And no sooner had the old man said that than... <laughs> silly Will's cotton shirt flew off his back, and he heard a plant voice saying... Oh, I'm so cold, cried Silly Will. And he ran home faster and faster. But just as he got to the door of his house, his whole house collapsed. And he heard the voice of the forest saying, I take back my lumber. Yes, only the brick chimney and the pipes and the nails were left. Oh, cried Silly Will, what shall I do? I can't live like this. I'm only a little boy. And I can't live all alone in the mineral kingdom. And then the ground he was lying on seemed to begin to shake, too. And he heard voices saying, We come back! We come back! We come back! I'm so glad, said Will. I must have been dreaming. Yes, up the high road and over the hill. Walking again went silly Will. The cow in the meadow winked an eye, and moved when silly Will went by. The sheep on the hilltop nibbling grass sat back and watched him pass. And out in the pasture a galloping horse stopped at the fence and said, Of course, he's silly no more, so he stood quite still and made through the morning. Hello there, Will. 